There was this great doctor named Sun Sun Yao who lived about 500 years after Christ. And in the Chinese medicine world, for Chinese medicine doctors, he's basically our version of Hippocrates because he wrote this oath that basically people call the Chinese Hippocratic Oath. And it's basically the oath as a doctor that you take to basically have the right ethical perspective and the right kind of mindset for treating patients and doing the best you can to help them. Now in this video, I wanna share a principle you can use in your own healing journey based on his oath. Hey guys, Dr. Alex Hine, licensed acupuncturist and Chinese medicine doctor, author of the health book, Master of the Day, which you can check out on Amazon. Now I've included a link right below this video. The link is if you'd like to become a local patient of mine, or if you'd like to become one online via telemedicine, there's a link below to reach me and contact my office right there. There's also a free download for daily rituals that can help you add years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. So I thought I would read some of this oath because I find it pretty inspiring, but I wanna see and share how you can use it in your own healing process. So he says that when seeing the suffering and grief of others, you must act as if it were your own and open your heart deeply to their misery. You must not avoid dangerous mountains with rugged cliffs any time of day or night, the cold of winter or the heat of summer, hunger or thirst, fatigue and exhaustion. You must focus your heart on attending to their rescue and must not have a heart of hard labor or outward appearances. So this passage that was translated from Sabina Wilms, I think is very relatable to many of you that may be struggling with illness. And in previous videos of mine, I've shared my own experience with that because there are some things that you probably know you can do to help you heal, whether it is anxiety, whether it is depression, whether it is lifelong digestive illness, but there's a piece of you that believes that maybe it can't be changed. Or there's a piece of you that believes that whatever the fear is that's overcoming you may be so much that you don't feel like you're able to do anything to actually enact this kind of healing process. So a common one that I see, for example, is patients with cancer. You know, five years later, they're declared cancer free, but in the subconscious and often in the conscious, there's this deep fear of when is it gonna come back? What if it comes back? As if it's just a matter of time where they're just gonna get cancer again, and this time it's gonna be the one that ends them. Or the fear of, you know, my dad at 53 had a heart attack and he died, that runs in my family, maybe I'm just a ticking time bomb because both my siblings had heart attacks in their mid 50s. The real question is, of course, take every piece of medical advice, your doctor's advice, whatever advice, but can you still try to live your life from the perspective of you still have to live? You can't spend your whole life living in fear because of what may potentially happen. It doesn't mean you take unnecessary risks. It doesn't mean that you're reckless. It doesn't mean you ignore your doctor's advice. It just means, can you still live a somewhat fearless life living life that's the way you want to live. You know, like Dr. Sun talks about, not being someone myself trying to cover my own butt because I'm worried about my reputation or being sued or anything like that, but about doing what's best for the patient, even if it's a deep inconvenience to me. So I hope you take Sun Sun Yao's advice to heart and try to be fearless, even if you are living through a difficult diagnosis or you've dealt with chronic illness for a long time and you don't really have much faith that it may ever change. Try this for a period of time, this fearlessness, and see how it helps your life. All right, you guys, that's what I have for today. Don't forget, if you'd like to become a patient of mine, click the link below the video, which is how to find info on my clinic and how to contact me. There's also a free download for daily rituals to add years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. And then before you go, I have two related videos over here.